typical Russian black tee class. The only watch I would wear. Very good. Your espresso is really great. Old Swede. Before we begin, is this your executive chair? During the day, it's the executive chair, and in the evening, it is this one, because that's my streaming stool. Because that's my streaming stool. Really? All right. It's now 7 o'clock in the evening. Thanks. We have something great planned today. We need your help. It's about watches and cars. Es geht um Uhren und um Autos. We will discuss both of these things in this video. I'll show you watches. Okay. And then tell me what kind of person you see behind it. Is this the redneck type? Is it this? Is it this? Is that a type of troll? Is that this? Is that that? Okay. And what kind of car in detail you see? So, car, okay, but person, difficult, it's very risky for me, but I'll do it. Okay, no problem. Then I would say we go straight into the topic and have something very special here. Okay. There's a very rare watch in here, an expensive watch. They are extremely rare to see. Lange und Söhne. Zeitberg, that means you have the display digitally but manually. All right. The watch currently costs around 50,000 euros and it's a dream. I know you don't like to give out your watches as much as in the last quiz. I blindly look and then he takes the watches away. That's rad. Is it a man's watch? It's actually elegant, not sporty. When I look at it like this, I immediately say, German? Person or car first? It's up to you. But would you now say that the product tends to be worn by a German? No, he is not German. For me that's an old English man. In its beautiful Bentley Mulsanne. He gets into his Bentley Mulsanne with this watch and says I can afford a Rolls Royce but it's too much for me. The Bentley Mulsanne much rarer, it looks much more nostalgic from the front, more of old timer, but it is a mega car. I have my 12 cylinder. If I want, I can be chauffeured, or I can drive myself while wearing this watch. It's quite good, good because this is really a niche product. Niche niche product. Yeah. Yeah. They make 6,000 watches a year and that's yeah. already bought okay. by well-informed people. Okay. Conservative, not a product that will be bought by people who are a bit into it. I would say that was a good start. Something trendier is coming up. Okay. When you have achieved something, you urgently need this watch on your wrist. Only if you are, let's say, 25 and have to watch your wrist, then you have made it. Absolutely. <laughs> For an hour, to refuel. <laughs> Classic. Originally worn by older people, but currently this is simply a watch that young people are chasing. Trend watch. Really nice, but you're right, you see it a lot on Instagram. Exactly. Footballers, influencers, successful business people, really rich people like you all wear the watch. That's correct. That's just a clock if I have to relate it to a car. This is also. How much did it cost? Last list price was I think 32 or... Last list price? It's no longer available in steel, it's now out in white gold for just under 50,000 euros, and the resale also costs 150,000 okay. Yes, well, a hundred thousand euro for a watch. What kind of car do you drive with it? You can wear this watch really well with modern cars. You can also wear this watch with classics. But when I look at the clock I see, difficult, is it the typical Aston Martin driver? The Aston Martin driver, the DB9, also the DBS. You can take any Aston Martin except the small ones, the V8 engines. And if you ask now, I actually see the current DB13, I was standing in front of one this morning. You wear this watch, you dress nicely, you go out to eat somewhere, it totally matches. This is actually a three-hand watch in steel, the money spent on it, he has to... Three-hand clock? Oh, okay. There is no function, this is a steel watch. Wow. You get a lot for it. If I buy this for a hundred, is it still an investment as well, or do you see it differently? The 
clock has gone down from 160,000 euros. Euro At the moment, you can start here very well. One thing you have to keep in mind about watches, there are three big brands. From Patek, a steel watch tends to be the most elegant. Gold watches are becoming even more common. I think the price of 90 to 100,000 euros is a great deal, given that it's no longer being built. And I would recommend everyone to get a complete set. Okay, I got it. We continue. With a product, what with us rather young people buy, it can also be the first watch. We are talking about a watch Omega Speedmaster. Okay. This is the classic moon watch, has a huge history in 02, priced at 4,300 euros. It's a good everyday watch, and I always recommend for people just starting out. Okay, I see. Yes. Well, you notice it immediately, so it's not like that. It's a different design. Exactly. Not quite luxurious. No. I know immediately who I see in here. Yes, immediately. The Audi TTRS driver. Yes, exactly. Yeah, to be specific. Genau. How much was that auto? 50 to 80. Okay, that's yeah. not good. It's indeed money. The Audi TTRS driver, an entry-level model to get into the sports car segment. Let's see, how can I deal with it? Am I up for it? Or don't feel like it at all? Maybe I'll sell it again and get a sedan after all, because I'm more the cozy type. I don't lose much money and don't attract a lot of attention. I'm still young, a lot can happen. Yes, this is great. Super match. This is for anyone who wants to taste a Stellar watch, and price-wise, it retains its value. That's what the watch is for. Absolutely. Excellent. Now it's getting a little wilder. And we have here. Yeah, it's all factory original. Rolex made the watch, I believe, before the year 2010. I have to say, I'm a really big fan of it. I like sapphires and leopard designs. What can I tell you? I don't know anyone other than Hollywood who wears something like that. Awesome. Michael has one of those too. Everything is so canary-like. So immediately. Lamborghini. Instantly. The price? Almost 100,000. 100,000 euros for this watch. That's, you gotta be brave. Yes, but on the other hand, you know, it's a rarity. Yeah. I think there's not yeah, much yeah, on the market. I can't say they're popular, yeah. but they're rare. And if you want yeah. one, then but one in a complete set, and so it's quite an addition. So, this is a Lamborghini. Nice purple outside, white inside. You get out, you have your rings, and then you have the watch. You have a T-shirt on, and then you go to the casino. Wealth. Yes, Hundred percent. I really appreciate this wild watch. I have to say. And now we move on, and we're going to Russia. Okay. So, Russia. Yes. Well, that's a brand, Ulysses Nardin, which is traditionally. Well, I've never sold this watch to a German. That's a Ulysses Nardin. It should be a diver, I think, right? Ulysses Nardin. It must be a diver, I think. What's it called? Chronograph diver. You can see it is very extravagant with those metal plates in the bracelet. The watch has an extreme depreciation. It once cost thirteen, fourteen thousand euros. Is now it down to seven. I must tell you, the watch offers many unique selling points. You have the numbering on the side, and both the whole quality and workmanship is top notch. Yeah? But somehow the European market doesn't take to this series so much. They have another... Is it made in Russia? No, but the Russians buy them. They love the brand. Okay, I see. So the watch doesn't seem that high quality to me. No, no joke now. Well, I don't want to ruin your business, but I'll tell you as it is, that to me is a watch that, for example, this one. Look how he's trying to sell me, right? Did you expect me to say yes? Here I see the classic. I would have said typical Russian, black G-class. Not at all. This is not a watch for the black G-class, no. Okay, let's skip the clock, thank you for that. But I don't know what to do with it. Incredible. You noticed? We continue with probably the most popular day-date. Day-date Rolex in rose gold is not really a watch for German clientele. Southerners like this watch a lot, but there are also Germans. Soccer players and rappers have them too, the ones with the oddest mean dial. Yes, old Swede, it's also right, heavy and high quality. 
That's crazy. I must say, in this watch range, we're now talking about 43,000 euros. Does it show the days at the top? Cool. So you have to spend about 40, but I think you see it quite a bit. It's kind of a lot of money, but everybody has that watch, you know? Also, man sieht die schon relativ häufig. Ist irgendwie viel Geld, aber jeder hat diese Uhr irgendwie. Yes, here I can immediately say that this is an Arab who gets out of his Maybach S650 and goes into the Dubai Mall and orders his espresso at Armani Cafe as normal, and then he goes back home. Even if it sounds degrading, that's just how it is, I can see that straight away. And it's also like, when you see a guy's watch now, a thousand things come to mind because I think that also reflects your character. Yeah, and with this one, I'd think, what's he like? I don't know, I myself am not a fan of so much sparkle. That's just the way it is, I'm more the subtle type and that wouldn't be mine at all. But this is the typical Arab who gets out of his Maybach enters the Dubai mall, orders a coffee at Armani Cafe, checks his cell phone, and heads back home. Cool, now we have two so, more models prepared, I'm curious to hear what you say. I find it relatively difficult to assign them to one relativ schwer, eine person to the other. There is a mix of flashy and not flashy. We have the Pepsi model. Pepsi. Oh, yeah. uh, Pepsi, Pepsi is relatively noticeable due to its color, but it's just beginning price segment. Yeah. You currently pay 18,000 euros for the watch. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't the list price 6 or 7? No, I think the list price is 10 and a half o'clock. I have to tell you, this is the only watch I would wear. I love the Pepsi. It's so sporty, timeless, just the name Pepsi. I think that's really cool. You can wear this with jeans you can also wear it with Chino in a really classic way. It's a watch that you can do, it's a daily driver, like a Bentley Continental, you can always get it out. It's like, with winter tires you can drive through with it, you can take four people. And that's also the watch. Personally, it's always a matter of taste, but if I'm wearing a watch, I'd get a Pepsi. It's definitely like that and it's a daily for me and I call it the Bentley Continental in the vehicle segment, you can use it anywhere. Strong. And now the question of all questions. That's interesting. I'm interested in that too. So the last watch we have here is a Casio. You don't have to be in white. It's generally about the Casio. This is an introduction. It's really an introduction. Absolutely. So now my question is, what is an entry-level car? For example, someone is 18 and they're getting their watch now and they want to get another car now. What would you say is a car to get as a teenager? What would you get? What also has not now so every bum, but it's also a bit cooler. But the price must fit, you know? The price must fit. I look at this individually. So the 18-year-old who just got his driver's license? I'd get something special, a Alfa Romeo something you don't see on every corner. Yesterday we were after a Golf 2 and I don't know when I last saw a Golf 2 in my life. It has character and if you get it as a beautiful GTIA Golf 2 GTI, super cool. And in the new car segment at the moment, it's so difficult. These new cars are. They cost a lot. Firstly, a lot of money, secondly, they almost all look the same. LED headlights, elongated, giant snout at the front. Difficult, but personally I would always look for classic cars so that not everyone has that car. And one of my favorite city cars, absolutely the Fiat Abarth. For a Fiat Abarth you pay from 8 to 20,000 euros. That's good. Exactly, but again the 18-year-old needs to handle it, because this is already a light machine with 180 horsepower. It has a great sound, in Munich you see the car often, but in Hamburg hardly at all. A great entry-level model, fits the watch. Thank you for your assessment. Thank you. Espresso's on you? We have foiled the freestyle and you have to look at it because Mr. Gebauer said freestyle, but he would like to criticize a few things. No, not to complain, but we have a basis for discussion. Ciao. <laughs>